I woke up last night at 1 a.m., Andrew, and I was so certain there was someone in my house. It was so scary. Guess what? Why, why did you think that? I don't know. I heard a creak. It, it scared me so bad. It's when the AC turns on. I'm not used to a house. I'm in a new house. And I, you, <laughs> why would I tell you that as if you're learning that about me? People, ah! Whoa. Oh, my God. Allergy attack. <laughs> it looks like I've got a wedding ring on right now. Oh, my gosh. I get married. Can you imagine? No, I'm That not. is the wrong hand. Oh, I don't know these Jared things. has a ring on his right hand. No, it's the left hand because something with a vein that goes from that goes to your heart or something. Well, I am so not married. It's like a weird pet peeve of mine when people think that the wedding ring goes in the right hand. Really? I don't know why. <laughs> like when Dude. I was younger, I just really knew that fact. So now I just like... <laughs> Like, hold on to it. Anyway. I don't have anything to relate to in that department. That's so funny. You're, sorry. You are. You wake up at one in the morning. Yeah. And you walk around and you're looking for somebody in the house. How long did you spend looking for the person in your house? Only about 35 seconds. <laughs> but I took special care when looking at the attic. I've got a huge fear of someone in my attic. Yeah. Yeah. But but it, it's I have so many precautions. and I've mentioned that before on the podcast. He's going to get home alone if someone tries to go in my attic. So there's nobody in your place. No. There's a lot going on. You also locked yourself out of your house. Oh, and I think that's why. Okay. Right. There's a really- Well, do we, are we going to introduce okay, this sorry, episode sorry, at all? Sorry. You're right. We can't, we can't just go- Should hey, I do my spiel? Go on. I- uh, I can't wait. for. And this is an intro spiel. Here we go. Can <laughs> let, First of all, I'm just okay. going to be transparent. Okay. He, 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 hey, you turn invisible. Oh, uh, you didn't laugh. Yeah, that Kevin, was Kevin Bacon. <laughs> Invisible Man. Yeah. To 2000, we the movie. And then there was a new one that people I, loved. I, I, nobody's going to know what the hell we're talking about. What do you mean? <laughs> people that always know what we're talking about. <laughs> when we set out to do this podcast, we said initially, we said, hey, disclaimer, we don't know what this is. Yeah. We wanted to get our feet in the water. We wanted to, what's another thing like that? I want oh, to do two of them. That was one. Dip your toes in the water. <laughs> The same thing. That's what I but I, I did say, oh, yeah, I said it a little better. When we set out to do this, we said, oh, well, we don't know where this is going to go, but we're going to start instead of thinking about it. Just all I'll say is expect the unexpected, and I ain't talking about Big Brother. Huh, what? Which is, that's the tagline for the show. The, really? The CBS. Big uh, Brother. Reality show, Expect the Unexpected. What's that about? A bunch of Big Brothers playing catch with their little brothers? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've heard of Big Brother a thousand times. Never know what it is. I do like the show. I haven't watched it in a while, but... I'll say this. I got my... Oh, that's the one where they film people showering. <laughs> I've Googled some things. <laughs> what the hell? That's not just to know, because I looked at a guy on the show and be like, oh, he's attractive. And then I Google Cut. him and he's shirtless and looking like a hunk in the shower. I'm human. So here is what's happening here. I do look like a radio host in like Nashville right now. I don't know what's going on. Got and I look like stand. I look like a desert who's going through like a moment. Des- You're referring to like the geographical climate of a region yeah you are that yeah i'm like a desert who's like post-divorce and and who's like you know what i'm gonna start flirting more i bought new pants at a thrift store looks like oh ah! that could have been a giant problem i just put my foot up and i almost like wrecked our very expensive equipment that was awful how's everyone doing oh no the intro (laughs) oh yes yes, and then and then a little soft gentle sweet checkup with not only ourselves but others look at us like an essay or like an index of a book Here's what we're doing. One, two. We got two things on the line, Andrew. Intro. We got we- plenty of things. Garrett's going to tell a story about how he locked himself out. We're going to eat the new McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich and give it the <gasps> Sweet Boys rating, which, as everybody knows, is the most reliable source of rating in the history of the internet. Wait, I got a visual. You're, you already revealed that? But anyway. I'm going to show people the sandwich real well, quick. Well, I'm going to do the... I'm going to... Oh, that's a plan. Look. Wait. Ouch! I poked myself! While you're doing that, I'm going to do the intro to the podcast. Okay, this is for the audio listeners who feel who wish they were seeing it. A little crinkles. Okay. ASMR. Okay, all well, the- Welcome back to the SBU, the Sweet Boys Universe, more specifically the Sweet Boys Podcast. Wait, I Number one trending you. podcast Andrew, on Spotify, Andrew, at least for over. a deacon. <laughs> Andrew, I, I interrupted you. You have to start over. I, I was talking about the sandwiches. So, three, two, one. Welcome back to the SBU, the Sweet Boys Universe, the Sweet Boys Podcast. Number one trending podcast on Spotify for like a day and a half, but that's like a day and a half more than all the haters that I went to high school with could ever say. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be doing a lot of things. Garrett's got a fun, quirky story about how he left himself outside and then locked himself outside <laughs> trying to cover it up even though I messed it up. Yeah. We're also going to be reviewing the crispy chicken sandwich from McDonald's. That's right. We we waited in a drive through line for a good 15 to 20 minutes. I would minutes. say 17. 17 minutes. Garrett almost curbed his car like he did that one time with mine and then he had to like pay for the tire that he popped. <laughs> exposing the heck out of you. <laughs> Someone like in the future, there's this real consequential situation where like you need to borrow their car and they go, 
It's just that episode 16. <laughs> yeah, like as if they would make it to the intro. The intro to the podcast, which was hidden like several minutes into it. <laughs> yeah. Listen, your intro was so nice, Andrew. I, 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 there's not even a number. Oh, announcements. Announcements. <laughs> Halfway into the episode. Sorry if there's some squeaking because me and Garrett didn't know if we would like to use these microphone stands. Yeah. So we bought the cheapest ones on Amazon. $32 for these. And sure. no, normal, no, they were like 18, 32 for both. Although my math doesn't make sense, right? Anyways. Well, now we can see why. Anyway, you can, you can hear the squeaking. Mm, sounds like me and Jonathan. Oops. Really? Yeah, like in a bed. Is the bed. Not that I want to continue this. I don't either. Because we might be. Spotify might uh, take away our clean rating title. Oh, we have such a nice clean rating. No, it sounds like Jonathan in the bed. Oh, Jonathan and I in the bed when we're trying to fix it. Fully closed. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was curious if it was like a solid, good bed. Well, he was giving me a. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, we can, what we Let us know if this is listenable. <laughs> Everyone. Let us know if you can ban this. Every every <laughs> keyboard in America right now, the news, every N and O on the keyboard of every uh, in America, oh, they're all shit. broken from being smashed on too hard at the That's same time. That's right, Cynthia. We're down here at the uh, Best Buy where people are getting turned away because they unfortunately do not sell individual keys for a keyboard. Everybody's looking for the N's and O's. They apparently <laughs> broke the... Now, could it have been the word on? Was it on? <laughs> No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Wait, Andrew, was there another protocol? We said we'd do the intro and then the what? You were going to do... Um, oh, yes, You yes. were going to do the... Just the greeting. Oh, the greeting. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so the greeting, if I were to do the greeting for this podcast, is first of all, welcome to this... Uh, Meditative a- greeting. Check-in. Oh, the check-in. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> which, which one of the eight segments that are all kind of the same were you referring to? No, no, no. I was going to do another little... I the was greeting, do- the check-in, or the intro. <laughs> or I was the gonna verbal do- intro. I, w- I was going to get to the check-in. I was going to thank people for being here with us in this catastrophe. But here's what this is right now. What Andrew and I want to do, we want to ground ourselves a little bit when this starts. Not just for one another, but for you listening as well. So we want to do a little check-in. I actually love bringing my voice right here it feels so much more natural and to bring people to a more relaxing state so what we're hearing right now what's happening over there oh andrew this isn't time to squeak this is time to meditate andrew no i'm I'm trying to get the squeaks out oh me when i'm an excited mouse who found a little bit of coffee and i have to get the squeaks out because i have to run around and get some cheese and i have to freaking run up into the clock and change the little hands and it strikes midnight and the owner comes down and pours himself a little coffee and i go hello I'm not going to try to keep you on track. I just wanted to throw that out there and give you the choice to get back on track if you wanted to. <clears throat> what we're hearing right now is the sound of rain hitting the floor. A nice, <laughs> angelic, druid-like ambient... <laughs> you like, kind of like touch the McDonald's bag. <laughs> it's just like the worst sound ever. Sorry, sorry. An elf comes in with a crispy chicken sandwich. It's like, it's so weird. People are like, ew. Elf like, on the shelf. The elf is 17 feet tall. His limbs shut. <laughs> People are like, oh, God. No. Oh. Hey, all right. The meditative state. God, I want to do a rap song that has like Elf on the Shelf as a lyric. Sorry. I got an Elf on the Shelf. He got a, what is it? Shelf. Um, Nothing rhymes with shelf. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tweet. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, who is moving him around? I'm the new girl in town. It's like a verse he comes on. Oh, hey. Brother. <laughs> what the heck was that? I don't know. Sorry. It's okay. All I was trying to say is that, yes, we are hearing rain, and while we hear the pitter-patter of raindrops and a little, oh, a little bit of thunder, oops, I wanted to say, how are you doing? You listening right now. A little check-in with yourself. Breathe deep for a moment, and those shoulders that you got, you look like you need some help. Hop up in your girl's house like an elf on a shelf. Oh, Andrew, that's so good. Can you do it one more time? Just like clean through. You look like you needed some help. Pop up in your girl's house like an elf on a show. So we want to do a little check-in with you right here to make sure that your shoulders, hey, go on and do what? Just drop them. And Andrew, what are they doing with their breath? By the way, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay, I'm oh, telling I'm, the guy how he's seeing it. It's like, oh, I'm just, this guy's popping up. He's a bad boyfriend. That's why it's justified. Oh, because he's a bad boyfriend and he forgot Valentine's Day. This girl's in this back and forth weird relationship with some guy that everybody in the crowd would be rooting for her to like leave. Everyone. It's like, you need to get away from this guy. This guy sucks. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm popping up in the girl's house like an elf on the shelf because she's texting me. Yeah. She's asking me to come over. Yeah. Um, and then the guy notices that and he's like, oh, I see. 
So there's someone else. And also, what I like about it is that elves on the shelves, people sneak those around at night. So I like that it's kind of a, you know, it's kind of a sly thing. So the meditative state, dropping your shoulders, making sure that you drink a little bit of water. If you don't have something nice to drink and hydrating. And if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it. Sorry. Oh, Andrew, that's such a good lesson. The meditation's actually over. I just wanted to say, if great. you're listening, that was great. drop your shoulders a little bit. Make sure you're hydrating, all right? A little check-in with how you're feeling, too, because where we are in the world right now is a very strange, strange place. So I hope that you listening and Andrew hopes the same thing. I assume, not to speak for you, Mm -hmm. hopes that you're doing as well as humanly possible because I know that Andrew and I are both have a very open dialogue and are very grateful to have one another because we're very open about always trying to feel better at this time in particular. We just hope that you're well in general because a huge part of this podcast, we were talking a lot about this last night for hours actually, is that wanting to kind of bring you more into it as a listener and the people who listen because that's the best part of this podcast in my opinion is the person who's listening right now to it. And so just wanted to check in with you and Andrew, part of the check-in is checking in with you. Sorry, I'll put the McDonald's bag down. I'm just excited. Okay, Crinkle McCrinkerson. I think uh, you're done. <laughs> I changed my name to that. I like legally changed my name to Crinkle McCrinkerson. Weird, weird, <laughs> exhausting bit that like ruins your life because you can like change all your IDs. <laughs> you like show it on the podcast. I did. It's like, Everyone's like, what? I don't know about that. We might, we might need to invest in a better arm than this. Oh, Andrew, it's 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 fine. No, Andrew, don't squint. It's nice. I can't. Yeah, well, just let stop touching it and, and piggyback off the sweet check-in. Eight okay. Cups, eight if, cups of water. Oh, so that was your... How yeah. am I doing, you asked me? Yeah. Well, before I get going in that direction, what else do we need to talk about? Because I don't want to be... No, I take it back. I know how you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you know what? Yeah, I think it's a healthy... No, I will I, say this. Yeah. Andrew, not another squeak. What is the deal? You keep on moving it back and forth this with your hand. This thing should come with a can of WD-40, baby, because listen. Andrew, that's like pushing a vase off the counter and then going, how did this vase break? Oh, yeah. Me slightly moving my microphone arm during our two-hour-long podcast a little bit so I can be more comfortable is like pushing a vase off of a counter. You exaggerative <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> stop it name calling and also just hold your thing if you don't like it. Like this. You were calling me a vase knocker over, which is bulls. <laughs> Sorry, oh, I'll refrain. What's happened to us? <laughs> okay, uh, you okay. know what I'm gonna say. What? I don't care. Oh, I love that. How am I doing? Let me tell you something that happened, which is bleeding into my life now. When I was, I'm gonna say, mm, 20. Yeah. I went to the dentist. And this is a true story. I'll make it quick. It's going to be done in two minutes. So well, don't you don't your... have to make it quick. No, no I, I just am going to make it quick because I don't want to talk about it for more than two minutes. Well, okay. Because it causes me pain. Oh. But my pain is your lesson. Do you want me to intro your story with a little song? Go ahead. A cautionary tale. A cautionary tale. Listen to Andrew's cautionary tale. Not really a cautionary tale. It's really not. Listen to Andrew's mildly cautionary story. I think it's just the nature of people. There's really no takeaway. Went to the den- a story about the nature of people. Andrew's story about the nature of people. Mm. That was great. Thank you. Shoot. <gasps> Gosh dang it, this thing's squeaky more than my 98 Civic. Oh, my brakes were squeaking today when we went to the McDonald's drive through Squeaking more than Garrett's 06 Prius. <laughs> oh, I have a 2006 Prius. And Andrew, 2007 Camry? 2005 Camry, buddy. Whoa. That's how good of shape I keep it in. Now you think it's only 13 and a half years old. Joke's on you. I just doxed us. People throw eggs at our car. Went to the dentist? Yes. And I was getting a checkup. You know my nature. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> To all my people, all my fellow anxieters out there, <laughs> I'm coining that term right now. Put it in Webster's millions of dollars. Well, you don't, why, get, paid. Why, you don't why, get paid for that. Uh, Some guy who made like a billion dollars. I invented a new word. <laughs> Everyone's like, what are you talking about? Went to the dentist. You know me. So listen, if you don't know me, I'm not going to explain myself that much. You'll get to know me if you didn't. And if not, maybe you don't want to know. You anyway. want like a really weird date? <laughs> Sorry, go on. The girl's already calling her friend. This sucks. Yeah. He's like really transparent, but not like in a cool, fun way. It's just weird and exhausting. I get it. I get it. I just concede. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, went to the dentist. Yeah. And you know my nature. I do. The, the dental hygienist is flossing my teeth and doing that whole stuff. Like the pre-dentist comes in situation. You know how that goes, right? Sure. That person always says something that's kind of like a preview of the dentist's appraisal of your teeth. Okay. Like, oh, yeah, your gums are a little red. You, you floss? Uh, kind of. Yeah. You know, that type of thing to the dentist. You really need to floss. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, like a little warm up. A little warm up. Oh, and backpack kid comes in and starts flossing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry. Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> 
sorry. Sorry, I think Ninja follows me on Twitter. Shout out Ninja. Shout out Ninja. Seems like a nice enough guy. <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> That's what, to like backpedal off of like the shade of the floss <laughs> thing. You say he seems like a nice enough guy. Very true though. Yeah, blue hair. Died. It's fake. No. <laughs> I just want some weird guy who doesn't know that people can't have blue hair. Are you serious? It's fake. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, Andrew the dentist. Oh my god. They were dragging you across the coals. <laughs> as for f- if, as if I was the one that threw us off. <laughs> um, oh, I did say the bad threw us back off. Uh, yeah. the, the, the cruise ship. Cruise, cruise, oh, cruise ship with the with the vest on. Okay. When you try to save someone because the ship's in danger. Oh, 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 oh! Rose with the uh, sapphire of the ocean at the end of Titanic. Ooh, threw it off. Can we watch that movie together, Andrew? What a sweet film. Let's watch it on stream. <laughs> Four hours. Oh, <laughs> that'd be so funny. Oh, well, Every time I watch that movie, I go, I get why this made the most money in the world ever, ever, ever. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Oh, no, Andrew, don't. He's got fluids in his mouth. <laughs> Andrew, swallow. Let's watch. <laughs> let's watch. Let's watch Titanic on caffeine. <laughs> on the streaming platform. No one knows what that is. Let's watch it on Mixer. <sighs> Mixer, is that still around? I don't think so. Let's, let's like some weird like, hey guys, watch Titanic with us on Periscope. <laughs> she got that alert that Twitter was taking the Periscope like yeah. integration element out. That'd be like getting an alert that MySpace is shutting down. You're no, like, but, oh, but it said, but it said, just so you know, in a couple months, there's not going to be a feature to integrate your Periscope account into Twitter. And I haven't heard about someone using Periscope since the last time I went on that uh, sailing adventure. Oh, f- very funny. I don't actually know what a periscope is, so I don't know. If it's I- how you view the other the icebergs. Andrew, the dentist. I'm going to the dentist, sit down. Dental hygienist, I believe, is the right name. Yes. For the person who cleans your teeth. My stepmom was a dental hygienist. You're very correct. <clears throat> this is important, the story. This is like a 30-minute process before the dentist comes, right? They're doing your x-rays. They're flossing your teeth. They're brushing your teeth. They're doing all that stuff. Okay. So this is at the beginning. Yeah. I know I'm going to be here with, with, with her for a while, and then the dentist is going to come in. Okay. So right off top, I sit down. She starts flossing my teeth or whatever. She goes, oh, um, did you, did, did you like bite your cheek or something? I go, oh, I don't know. She goes, oh, yeah, there's just like something there. So, yeah, let, we can check that if it's cancer or not. Oh, no. That's like a very, yeah, with a person who has anxiety, Andrew, I'm sorry that happened to you. Like like later, like later, when, we can, when the dentist comes, we can check to see. Yeah, someone sitting in a chair with my mouth wide open, one minute into a 35-minute process, and someone plants that seed. Yeah. And oh, also- we'll, we'll check to see. We'll check to see. If that thing, oh, I'm looking at it. We gotta check that. We'll yeah. see. We'll see if it is or isn't. Black oh, yeah. or white? Yes or no? Fifty fifty. Yeah. Jesus. That's like someone seeing a little crack in the tile on the ground and being like, "Oh, we'll just we'll check to see if that's a sinkhole that's gonna open up in 13 minutes and, and <laughs> swallow." You're exactly right. Yeah. Maybe you know what? Listen, I think the thing about you is that first of all, being, first of all, yeah. That I'm sorry. Dare I defend the nature of that? Yeah. That seems pretty universally annoying. It is universally. I'm some say. people, I'm say. maybe some people in the health field are just very like, it is what it is. But she should have, there was no reason for her to do that because no, no, no. she no, didn't no. know what it was. She was being weird. She was giving uh, something very dark the benefit of the doubt. First of all, weird. there's 800 things about it, which is actually crazy. Yeah. The biggest one is, oh, did you bite your cheek? If the answer is yes, then, I'll, then I won't ask you anything. And if you don't know if you did, I'm going to throw out the idea that it's possibly cancer immediately Yeah. at the beginning of the appointment. So sit there in that weird chair with your mouth open for 30 minutes yeah. while that marinates into your brain. Yeah, that was a weird move of her. She knows she could have said, she could have said, okay, well, when the doctor comes in, we'll check that out. Because sometimes that can be something a little, eh, but well, we'll see. Dude, dude, yeah. dude. Or just don't say anything. I'm, go- I'm not, I'm not going to, in the mid. I'm not going to, in the middle of the appointment, yeah. Run out of the door. Yeah. <laughs> so you don't need to like make sure I don't go anywhere. Yeah. The dentist could come and she could say, she could say, Oh yeah. Hey, uh, dentist, yeah. um, I noticed that there was some sort of like sore on his mouth. Yeah. If you wanna if you wanna check that thing. Don't even tell me. Don't even tell what's him. going on. So, and if I resist the $25 charge, and I think that they were selling, I think they were selling. Oh. It was a little charge. It's, yeah. like, it's like 25 bucks. I'm like, is Sorry. Andrew, I feel for you. That is a heavy situation. You know what? If I was the dental hygienist, I would have sidebarred with the dentist. Point is, yeah. sore in my mouth right now. (laughs) Yeah, tweet it. (laughs) (laughs) But no, that lady. So that's that's how I feel now. And I'm in my head. Are you okay? Dentist appointment, Tuesday. Oh, I'm so glad you're getting it checked. But I need to go to the dentist, which is actually why I'm probably going. But this is speeding it up. Okay. Because that lady... Okay. Has made it unbearable for me to live oh. with random sores popping up in my mouth. I'll push her over. You said this happened when you were 20, right? Yeah. Because it's still lingering in the synapses of my 28 year old brain almost oh. a decade later, brother. Okay. Anyway, tell me a story. I'll tell you a story. Because uh, I'm tired of hearing my own voice. 
I I'll do. probably be a little raspy tomorrow. I am always tired of hearing the sound of my own voice. But I continue. <laughs> I keep going. Yet they have a weekly podcast. <laughs> I, uh, I'll tell you a story. Locksmiths are nuts. Oh, God. It startles me. I don't know. Every time it just freaks me out. I look like a professor right now. Audio listeners. Professor? I look like a per- No, I look like a critic, don't I? That would be at a party and say, can I get one martini, please? Okay, I'm just kidding. Two. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're about to judge something. You know what we're doing, Andrew? We're mixing it up a little bit. Sponsorship mode. <sighs> now we're going to do what we normally do. We're going to uh, take sponsorship mode and we're going to make it a nice, calming, relaxing place. But Sponsorship mode intermission. S- this Version. Is- sponsor mission. Andrew. Sponsored to intermo- this Sponsor is, motion. What's happening right now is what's happening right now. We're doing sort of a... It's always true. We're doing sort of a sponsorship mode intermission, where we're gonna just going to take a couple minutes here. Shout out to our wonderful sponsors. Mm-hmm. Just throw some chill music in the background. Some lo-fi study stuff. Girl, girl, Ooh, that sounds good. You're the one I see when I blink. Oh, that's... <laughs> so I know, I love that. Because, girl, you're the one that I see when I walk. <laughs> the one that I see when I visualize. When I flip my pillow over to access the cold part. I want to see you between the pillow flipping next to me, baby. <laughs> Andrew, how do we feel about the stars? What's your sign? I'm a star. Andrew, what's your star sign? I have something to tell you. Star sign? Yeah. Leo, but they changed it. NASA, they flipped it on me. Are you kidding me? But then they flipped it back. Whoa, so you're Leo again? I think so. Is that the answer you were looking for? <laughs> that complicated, weird runaround? It'll do. Okay. Well, Andrew, I'm a Gemini, and I don't know anything about anyone else's signs, which is apparently very Gemini of me, from what I've read. Maybe. But you know who would know exactly what to do with our astrological information? And you're not going to believe this. HBO Max. <sighs> if HBO Max knows your astrological sign, they can give you better streaming recommendations. Sounds like a made-up thing. I swear. <laughs> if you're confused, don't be. Let me explain. Yes. And of course, HBO Max is a streaming platform platform with countless iconic movies and shows like Friends, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and even Max Originals. And they just launched their Max Astrology Quiz, which gives you personal streaming recommendations based on your astrological sign. What? How fun is that? Andrew, as I said, I'm a Gemini and I took the quiz and it recommended the show Barry, oh. which is a perfect rec for me because I love Bill Hader and I'm fascinated by killers and Barry is about Bill Hader being a killer. This changes everything. I know. Everything. And get get this, I put in your birthday and guess what show it recommended for you? What? Sopranos. Interesting. Is it? Both of our shows are about uh, killers in the mob. Interesting. I will watch Sopranos, I guess, because I'm destined to, to, to do it. Anyways, you listening right now can sign up for HBO Max to get seven days free by checking out the link in our description where you can discover your own cosmic recommendations. Be a star today and link in the description. (laughs) Be a star today. Link in the description for HBO Max. There you go. From the stars and beyond to the planets and back. Oh, no, they're really great, Andrew. I love HBO Max. You know what else I love? is also a nice smile on someone. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, look at that. Look at that shiner. (laughs) A smile is beautiful no matter how it looks, but if you want to straighten your teeth and have a a, a straighter tooth smile, let me tell you about Candid. Candid is the clear, comfortable, removable, and practically invisible aligners to help people straighten their teeth. And people are loving their smiles after Candid. Let me tell you about Cameron from Nashville. True story, brother. Cameron Candid, Candid Camera. (laughs) Who was that for? Me and you and the bone spider. (laughs) Let me talk about Cameron from Nashville, Andrew. Cameron had a goal to straighten out his teeth before his wedding, and guess what he did on his wedding day? He had the cutest smile ever, loving his smile, flashing his teeth at his wife, and she's going, I love you. Shout out Cameron with the cute teeth. With Candid, your treatment is prescribed and closely monitored remotely by a licensed orthodontist, and most importantly, you work with the same orthodontist from start to finish. And did I mention that it costs thousands less than traditional braces? No, you didn't. Well, it does. Anyways, if you're out there going, hey, I like this candid idea. This sounds like it's for me. Then I got some great news for you. What are you, a newscaster? Right now, you can save $75 on Candid Starter Kit by going to candidco.com slash sweetboys and use code sweetboys. That's candidco.com slash sweetboys, code sweetboys. Taking advantage of this limited time offer saves you $75. Again, that's candidco.com slash sweetboys and use code sweetboys. Easy as pie. Speaking of pie, pie after this? Oh, we, we've got an apple pie, and then I would get a pumpkin pie, and then I'd put the pumpkin pie on top of the apple pie, and I'd take the fork, and I'd slice them at the same time, and I'd eat them. Pie sandwich. Oh, I love a pie sandwich. <laughs> oh, Andrew, speaking of pies and wonderful fresh foods, can I tell you something that's happening inside of my body right now? <laughs> no. 
<laughs> I don't know about you, but I'll tell you what. My stomach right now is like, oh man, do I want some delicious, fresh, incredible, economical food. <laughs> is that what's happening? Yeah. We know about HelloFresh, right? Oh, right. America's number one meal kit. They deliver fresh, pre-measured ingredients and mouth-watering recipes right to your door and lets me skip those trips to the grocery store and makes home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. Yeah, how could you forget? I don't know, because HelloFresh cuts out stressful meal planning so you can enjoy cooking and get dinner on the table in about 30 minutes or less. <laughs> Such a quick amount of time. That is nothing. And I meant it when I said economical, Andrew, because HelloFresh is 28% cheaper than shopping at the grocery store and 72% cheaper than a restaurant meal without sacrificing the quality. HelloFresh, I use it, I love it, and I'm feeling better because of it. Mm. And Andrew, if, 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 if you or anyone listening is going, wait a minute, this sounds kind of familiar. Sounds like Green Chef. Sounds like Green Chef. Well, I got some news for you. HelloFresh owns Green Chef, so you listening can enjoy both brands for uh, variety and more fun and options. Green Chef, sounds like me when I was cooking and I fell in that pesto sauce. Andrew, sorry. <laughs> Anyways, if you're out there going, I love the idea of this HelloFresh. I want it for myself immediately. Then you can go to HelloFresh.com slash SweetBoys12 and use code SweetBoys12 for buckle up, get ready for this, Andrew. 12 free meals. A dozen free meals, including free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash SweetBoys and use code SweetBoys12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's good stuff, and I and I know it. This all makes sense. What a lineup. Coachella shaking. <laughs> Oh, because the, uh, the sponsorship, sponsorship lineup. lineup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was sponsorship mode intermission version style. Version 1.0. Just give you a little break, a little, little, little halftime show. On that note, call us a bunch of kids on a trampoline because we're jumping right back into the podcast. I fell off a trampoline four times. Are you okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I hurt my leg. Uh, one time I hopped on a, a trampoline and it, it broke through. made me feel very self-conscious. I still carry that with me. Sorry, back to the podcast. Locksmiths are nuts. That's the title of the story. If this was a story I was writing down in a book, it'd be cold. This is fun. This is more fun than my story. Well, no. Well, I will tell you this much about this. <laughs> I was talking to some some uh, uh, fella on uh, on on vi videos on my phone. Uh, we've been sending each other some videos back and forth. That, well, you're not wrong. And uh, whoa. Well, the double down. I was a little bit distracted by because I was having a good time. Uh, you know, just chatting with this fella. Oh, city. What's that? Owl City. Oh, sure. And so, no, I was like, two, it was 2 a.m. And I was, uh, I was like sending him back a response because he just uh, told me how his day was and stuff. Yeah. And I, uh, I opened the door to my backyard and I was, you know, thinking about speaking to him and I closed the door behind me. What time was this? 2 a.m. Which if a lot, you a lot of crazy stuff goes down in the early mornings for this guy over here. Well, you know very well that that's like noon for me. 2 a.m. Maybe 9 p.m. <laughs> yeah, maybe 9 p.m. So I, uh, no, anyways, I closed the door behind me, which if you remember when we went through my place, because you went through my place with me before I mm. even decided to yeah. rent it, and the owner was like, hey, just so you know, if you close the door behind you, what's going what's gonna to happen? You're going to lock yourself out. That's true. There was a lot of prefacing of the potential of getting locked out. And I think Garrett kind of was like, yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. I was, I'm very much so like, I mean, anything could happen. And I'd be like, yeah, whatever. I'll figure it out. So when that happened, it happened while I was like filming myself. And I said to this person, I said, oh, I just locked myself out. This is really funny. But I said, ah, it's nothing. I'll figure it out. Sure. I can't figure it out. I try for about 40 minutes to break into my own home. Mm -hmm. Good news is here is that my place is impossible. Absolute fort. Like everything is built in the 30s, like out of lead. It's like crazy hard to get into. There's no way, yeah. right? So I just had to give up eventually. I was completely locked out of my house. At this point, it's like 2.30, 2, 2, 2, 2.45 a.m. I have no idea what the protocol is. Mm. I'm like, is this even a service? Do locksmiths just like show up with like, uh, a, yeah. like a Victorian tool and they're like, don't worry, I'll unlock your door. First of all, yeah. thank goodness you had your phone. Yeah. But, oh. But but the second tier of that yeah. qualm is quandary? Something. Something. Is it, yeah. Can you just find a 24-7 locksmith? I mean, it seems like something that would, it, it would make sense oh, that it exists. You would think, brother. Oh. You would think. How deep on Yelp did you have to go? Oh, more deeper than you've ever seen a gopher dive into the ground on Groundhog's Day. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any sense because they come up on Groundhog's Day. <laughs> so you can't see it going down in the ground because it's a hole in the ground. You could have half the ground was glass. 
So I, so I, I, I'm outside. I'm in my boxers. I'm in black boxer shorts, Andrew. Jesus. Yeah. You're halfway to a pretty bad but still watchable romantic comedy opening of a movie. I'm just saying. But I was in basically I was in my black boxers and uh, just a t-shirt. And so I start calling around blindly. And f- after like eight, you know, calls to places, no one picking up. I'm like, I'm just like, wait, is there no protocol for this? If you lock yourself out, and then finally this guy picks up. It's like the the maybe t- eighth, tenth person I call. He picks up. And I said, uh, "Hey, um, how's it going? My my name is uh, Garrett. I've I've just locked myself out of out of my place. I'm yeah. sorry. I've never done this before. Oh, oh uh, I'm I'm sorry. My name is Garrett. I've locked God, my. Are I you did, a lo- I, I can't are you a locksmith? I can't stand. That. Uh, yeah. Wait, where are you? <laughs> and I, I, he was talking to me like I was his brother, like calling him after you know going to the air. No, I know that's what yeah. I'm saying. I, some people they don't have that built in." perception of I need to talk to a stranger like it's a stranger. Dude. Like, I'm going to talk to this person like I talk to literally myself in the mirror. It was one of the wildest things. I said, so I said, it was just like this. I'm not exaggerating for the sake of a story. It was yeah. just like this guy giving me nothing. It was like, oh, oh yeah. Wait, it, so I said, oh, I, I live at, you know, this place here. You know, I said, should I, I told him the area I lived in. Okay. And I was like, okay, so does that mean that you can come and <laughs> help me? Yeah. Are, are you going to come here? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and then I was like, "Okay, cool. So, do you want me to text text uh, text you my address?" Sure. sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, like that kind of energy. So this was clearly an independent contractor type of person, dude. Who, like, happened to have a key making thing. Or that's something. where the story gets a little thicker. Me, <laughs> sorry. No, seriously, Andrew. The guy shows up. You know, he actually shows up. I text him my address. He shows up in like a really normal car. And just brings like a bag out of his trunk. I'm like, hey, how's it going? He doesn't tell me his name. And uh, and so he like shows up. I was like, hey, I think this door will be easier. Walk him to it. All he does. And by the way, my friend Giselle text message. Uh, queen. Uh, yes. Could she ice a cream? Queen. Gelato ice, queen. Ice queen. Well, gelato queen. But yeah. She so she owns the gelato store that Andrew and I made the 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 hit video twenty four hours in a haunted ice cream shop. Yeah, she like text messaged me today and she was like, just so you know, locksmiths are a complete scam, and I now understand it. What? Now there's probably some who are good at their trade. If anyone's listening, they're like, oh my uncle's a locksmith, maybe he's a good one. This one was not. I'm not gonna call him a scam artist, but no, no, because no, he tried his best. Basically, what happened is this guy I, showed oh, by up. By the way. I- no idea where this is going. No idea Dude, where this is going. Dude, he shows up. So he's and, a scam, and he showed up. It's a little listen. sketchy. Okay, I don't know where this is going. He tried his best. What the heck? You really are like, you know, Tar- I know. Tarantinoing listen. this whole story for me here. I have no idea where this is going. He but gets, I know some things, but I don't know the ending. He gets there at 3 a.m., probably, right? No, like 3.30 or so. An and, hour and a half later. Yes, all he does, he does some like things with the door. He like fidgets with it, kind of tries to open it, uses this weird like air tool. <laughs> and he's and just doing things that I would kind of do if I got a little more creative. <laughs> and then he looks at me and I promise you, this is what he says to me. He looks me dead in the eyes and goes, do you have a hanger or something? <laughs> Dude, in your hands, in your car. I'm outside in my boxers in a shirt, and he says, I'm locked out of my place. And this guy who's supposed to have all these amazing tools of the trade says, do you have a hanger or something? Dude, like- and so I like go into this back shed, and I'm like, I take like the thing off of like an old paint right. can. I'm like, this I, yeah. it was awful. This so is, what he yeah, ends up doing, this is comical. he tinkers with the door for like 20 minutes with like nothing. And then eventually he just goes, hey, I'm just going to like drill through the door. Is that okay? Jesus. I had a drill in the back of my car. He basically did what I could have just did, like done if I was doing the exact same thing. So he just drilled through the lock and like popped it open and was like, okay. And then like two, no, three hundred dollars, please. So, um, yeah. So your place isn't bulletproof or whatever the hell. You no, said. no, no. I you well, I was able. The door. No, it would do. It's, <laughs> it's it I, very easily. He, dude, he like looked at the window and he was like, I mean, could we break like? The, I was just like, <laughs> a lot, dude. He was like, can we break like this window? And I was like, I just, I, I put my hands up and he was like, oh no, I think I can get figure this out. It was. I, I love that. The- <laughs> Sorry. I think I just love yeah that the locksmith yeah asked you can we break the window I wanted to be like I could have broken the window an hour and a half ago and the whole point is that they get th- in the lock yeah not the, they figure out you can get into your house the entire time it. it was raining the entire time it was like you, you should have led with that to paint the obvious I'm sorry I'm sorry the unbearable. entire time it's raining I'm like in my boxers I'm so 
cold that it's like crazy. And I don't really get cold that that's, often. Yeah, that's true. But it was like really wet and I was over it and I was tired and the whole thing was wild. Did that go on too long? <laughs> Sounds like my ex. Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> that's okay, Andrew. <laughs> I'm exhausted even recanting that story. Anyways, what are we talking about on this podcast? <laughs> like, really far into it. Brother, listen, I have an email day. Yeah? For Afterwards, what if we got some fish? <laughs> we have the chicken sandwiches. Oh! <gasps> Your story was much nicer to listen to than mine. Are you serious? Well, Didn't mine it? was a little bit of a dangerous roller coaster. Yours is more of a fun. Like, I got a wee. Fun I'm going to do wee. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Oh, I'm so hungry. Are you going to tell us we can eat the chicken sandwiches now? <laughs> am I going to tell us? What am I looking for? Permission <laughs> from you? What was that all about? Well, uh, is there anything else? Is there anything else? Um, I've got, I'll tell you something else. I learned, I opened it. I downloaded a Japanese uh, app that teaches me how to speak, speak Japanese, and now I know the word for bread. Is this your interest? Like, <laughs> Garrett and Andrew's current uh, uh, obsession? Oh, yeah. We want to do some sort of like segment uh, where we talk about what we're into. It's happening right now. No, it's it sounds not. Sounds like it's happening prematurely right now. I have no. mine. I I don't have that's not mine though. That was just a fun fact. Do you that's, have yours? Yes. In my we head. Get, we can knock this thing out in five minutes. Everybody's wait, waiting for the segment. No one's waiting. But we also minutes. gotta get to the chicken sandwiches. So okay, okay, okay. I'll tell you. No, I just know how to I, I doubt it. Karen Andrews current uh, obsession. Karen Andrews current they're, they're obsession. They're obsessed with it. Because they they're obsessed it. with it. Right, Carrie. Oh, why well, are you so obsessed with me? My Idris Elba and Beyonce's movie. Sure. Obsessed. Is that is is that like enough? I starring love that Jennifer movie for some reason. I don't know why. It's not even that good of a movie. You know about <laughs> enough starring Jennifer Lopez? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Me too. I saw it in theaters once upon a time. That's my neck will not work in a few years based on how I'm looking at you. <laughs> I've got a blistering headache. I get it. <sighs> Do you really? Yes. Well, it's because you haven't eaten all day, and I don't have Tylenol. I uh, I want to tell you something. What uh, is your my obsession? Yes, your current <sighs> obsession. My current obsession is the world, the endless. Like, endlessly vast world of instant pot. And I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Hey, hey, oh. and when I say instant pot, I ain't talking the funny stuff, okay? Hey, hey, hey I ain't talking yeah. the stuff that makes people see rabbits mm. and rainbows, okay? So I, uh, I'm, I'm obsessed with this thing called instant pot, which is basically like a... Inst <laughs> I know this... Instapot, right? Yeah. Or no. Instapot. Am I thinking about the gram? What do you mean? <laughs> IG Insta. Andrew. Instapot or is it instant pot? I think it's Instapot. Does Instagram own Instapot? No, but they should because it's hugely successful. So I've learned there's this thing around since like, oh, yeah. I don't know, the early 80s. Now this is different than an air fryer, right? I'm just making sure because oh. there's two there's two stands out there when it comes to the Crock-Pot-esque community. Yes. The air frying community and then the Instapot community. I believe there could be more. My guy, they have one that pulls double duty. And this is why it's interesting is because there's a vast community there's like yeah. girls who have Instagram accounts where their entire thing is like Instapot girl, Instapot recipe girl, Instapot recipe is a healthy paleo Instapot. It's like a whole thing that opens mm. up. This is like a crock pot, but it's quicker. It's like, a, yeah, it's like quicker and it's easier. So you if you just yeah. threw in like vegetables or rice or chicken or whatever, it would just, you yeah. walk away for like 15 to 20. Yeah. And, and you it's come done. back and it's steaming hot, fully cooked. Or you could walk away for 15, 20 and come back in like three hours. You could be leaving. Because it warms vegetables. it yeah. and maintains the heat. Dude, it's amazing. And I'm so excited. I just want to throw chicken, uh, clean, healthy, easy stuff in there. Come that back, eat great. it. I'm trying to get really like, I don't want food to be my dopamine anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm so tired of that. Like, and I know we're both on this journey. Yeah. I, the Amazon reviews are like 50,000 reviews, like five. It's crazy. How, how, anyways, mu how much? Oh, uh, they had one for, I think, like, uh, I don't know, uh, $68, I think, was the lowest price one. I got one that was a little more expensive. I got $120. What's up? Sorry, it's not about me. Andrew, what's your obsession? Then we'll get to the sandwiches. I, listen, in the vein of wanting to eat healthier. Yeah. Specifically, just not mindlessly snack away, because it's what I does. <laughs> Chex Mix, boom, it's gone. Oh, it's uh, go this it guy can get through a bag of Chex Mix faster than most, than a cactus can get through a, a, a drop of water. Snacks. What other snacks do I love? Pizza rolls. Listen, <laughs> let's not do this. Oh, we will eat pizza rolls on the podcast though. One day, I just want to lay out like a spread. You know those nacho tables on TikTok where they align their uh, island counters with aluminum foil and they just dump like five bags of on the border chips everywhere and just start throwing all the stuff on it. That's the most important thing. Yes, a pizza roll table is what I'm trying to get on, man. Andrew. Anyway, my thing right now. Uh, oh, drinking carbonated uh, water. So fun, dude. I didn't know that. You you know, there's so much that you get out of opening up the can, hearing the hearing the crisp crack, and then, dude, that carbonation. Oh, no shade to the bubbly brand. Oh, I, I I've been drinking that. It, well, I was just gonna tell people I think Lacroix is better than bubbly. No, I will firmly slam my fist down. What I've drank that lime Lacroix I had, yeah. that was like a healthy Sprite. Yeah. That mango bubbly I had. 
It, I got through them. The only reason why I'm giving you flack right now is because it's a terrible introduction into the carbonated water world. I'm so sorry. Mango I, bubbly. I, 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 that's like having a conversation with somebody and have one weird experience with something. Like, I hate carbonated water. And you go, "Did was it the mango bubbly that you tried? And they go, yeah. And they go, listen, I get it. But buy some Lion McCroy and get back to me. That's like someone saying, oh, yeah, I tried to watch Marvel movies. And I say, oh, was the first Marvel, Marvel movie you saw? And they say, oh, Thor 2. And I go, oh, you see Ragnarok and come back to me. And speaking of Thor 2, it's a great segue into the chicken sandwich <gasps> segment. <gasps> I'm sorry I lost the my cool sweet, about the... sweet surprise element of the day where we'll be rating the, 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 the McDonald's chicken sandwich like every other YouTuber probably already has a week later because we record a little bit later than a lot of people do. Sorry, post a little later. I just that wanted, was the to, say, I the wanted to say I'm sorry I lost my cool about the bubbly water earlier. Well, we both lost our cool we about did. it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean anything because we're talking Making about up cool. with your friends is the most important thing to do. And there's a song while I grab the sandwiches. Well, I was going to say, you know what they say is the best way to uh, make up after a fight with your friend. <gasps> Are we going to kiss? Jesus Christ. Eating crispy chicken sandwiches. Oh! With sauce. I was just kidding about that like, kissing thing, dude. That was like really weird that you said that. That was weird. That was like really weird. That was weird. <laughs> okay. Uh, I got the spicy. Andrew got the normal. Because I'm a spicy boy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh -oh. oh, they label it on the bag. And they are cold as all get out. <laughs> well, we did get them five hours ago. Reviewing ice cold chicken <laughs> sandwiches from McDonald's. This makes sense. It does. You want to know how something holds up over time. Oh, how's it smell? I always smell my food. I love that you smell things. I'm a big sniffer. Big oh, sniffer. sounds like me with my ex. Let's just say I didn't trust her. <laughs> oh, so you were snooping around. Snooping around. I haven't been in a relationship in a long time, but I do think about like couples and stuff, like their phones. Wouldn't that be kind of a weird territory? I don't understand. Like like comment below if I just don't know something. But whenever I hear anybody say something about like going through somebody's phone, oh my god, I'm like, what are you talking about? That sounds like a crime. Or if, something. if you're in a relationship to where you feel the need to go through someone's phone, get out of that relationship. Well, either you're going to get out of it or the person's going to find out that, that you're is, going through their phone. That is so gut Give me the password. That, oh! <laughs> yeah. But, but anyway. But trust is the reason why I haven't been in a relationship in a long time. I know it seems like, uh, as I'm holding your sauces and the chicken sandwich. <laughs> so like, no, let's talk about my trust issues. <laughs> cold. But trust oh my God. Gosh, the wetness. This is like, this oh is the God, worst. this is the worst possible way. That's already like a one out of ten. To rate, no, it's it's wet because it's hot, and then it's exuding whatever the heck it's exuding in the hot bag for four hours. Here, Andrew, take your sauces. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, sauces. Yeah, I can't eat anything like this without any sauces. It's got tangy barbecue, sweet and sour, and honey mustard. All very good. Oh, it smells um, like a chicken sandwich. <laughs> okay. You see my cute little hat. Audio listeners, I put my chicken sandwich on my head like a hat. Garrett is tainting his ability to properly review the item. No, I'm not. I'm petting my chicken sandwich oh, no, on my not. head. No, no, you're not. I'm sorry, audio listeners. Garrett is doing what the makers of the crispy chicken sandwich of, of McDonald's intended and hoped for. He's putting it on his head, pushing it down onto his scalp, and petting it with his hand over and over I'm and over I'm petting it again. like a little puppy that I used to have named Luke, and Luke got hit by a car, and you're actually being really, really oh insensitive my right now. Andrew, I he, wish this was warm. We really, we start. Jesus, I know it's so wet. <laughs> Andrew and I, it's like we just picked up a. Uh, you know what? I this actually need paper. Towels. I know. Use your little your, your neat dude shirt. Oh. Shout out Chris Melberger and Shan Dodd. You know what Jeez. this feels like is when you uh, when you uh, are going to get laundry out of the washer. Period. That's the statement. <laughs> and uh, you're about to put it into the dryer. It's heavy and it's wet. And very cold. Now, granted, <laughs> that's not on McDonald's. That's probably on us. Oh, this this is on us for sure. Hey, you know what this feels like? A uh, uh, you know this feels like a swimming pool. End of statement. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, cheers. Sucks. No, it doesn't. Cheers. It's, Andrew, listen. you cheers my little chicken sandwich with your cold, wet chicken sandwich right now. Or you know, I'll freaking you know, scream. If I wasn't having an identity crisis being a 28-year-old guy who didn't know exactly what I was going to do in my life, I will say fist bumping uh, two very cold, sopping wet chicken sandwiches with my friend who just put his on his head is not helping, but okay, go ahead. <laughs> all right. Now, I'm sorry. What are we doing here? <laughs> we like don't care at all, literally. Yeah, yeah we're Check not food reviewers. No, 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 but I was going to say we don't care, but at the same time, we want to be the... <laughs> I, I was about to say. I know. I was. About I know. I, I wanted to see if I could scratch my my chin with it. I was well. Right before I was going to say, we want to be the final word on good food review. Oh, cool! You scratched your bearded chin with the chicken. With the chicken, sandwich. and then it kind of rubbed off, and it was very cold. I just got like really queasy and like kind of felt weird. Makes sense. <laughs> every 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 listener and viewer did too. Um, Andrew, what yeah, I want to do is, is I want it? to be so accurate and good at this. Yeah. 
that when people are driving past a McDonald's and they're hungry and someone goes, oh, do you want to pop in and grab the new crispy chicken sandwich? And they go, oh, well, the sweet boy said this. Let's give it a shot. I'm giving it a shot. Oh, I want to have, oh, sorry. I have to narrate you. Oh, sure, sure, sure. So Garrett's going in. Garrett is diving in. He's taking a pretty decent sized bite of the chicken sandwich. He looks, oh my goodness. He looks skeptical. Oh, no. He's waving his finger. He's saying no. I don't know what's going on. Here's the thing. Oh, God. I I like everything. Okay. I think it's great. I'm having a fun time. It's, well, you it's, haven't even so hard no, no, no. your first bite. It's, oh, it's just alarmingly cold. <laughs> that I thought I was. I thought I was. Uh, hey, let's just say I thought Frozen Three had come out. Oh my god! Yeah, I thought my ex called me back. Alarmingly cold. Hey, Let's, let's just say it's so cold. I heard Morgan Freeman's voice narrating "Marching of the Penguins." <laughs> that is not the way to deliver that joke. <laughs> hey, I thought it was so cold that I heard Morgan Freeman narrating my first bite. That's what you would say. Hey, it was so cold, I thought I would go Schwarzenegger was going to come in and be, uh, reprise his role from uh, <laughs> Batman and Robin, the new the Batman film where he plays the Iceman, Mr. Freeze. <laughs> oh, I know. I also don't like pickles, and there's pickles on here. I'll factor it in. I'll factor I'll figure it out. Okay, I'm going to narrate your bite like a character from All Creatures Great and Small, though, uh, which is a British show I'm obsessed with. Obsessed with. He looks handsome. The sunlight dancing in his hair. He goes in for a bite of his sandwich. His lips close around it. He pensively chews on it, nodding, making a hmm sound. He's opening up a... He's loving it! Dude, you're, he's chewing up a storm. It is good, right? We're also, also so hungry. Oh, I know. I'm not going to let that cloud my judgment. Oh, I would enjoy freaking toothpaste right now. This is so good. Well, now we're just eating. I know. <laughs> well, here's the thing. Um, I was going to say, I'm going to take it one step above and tell the audience members which one of the three staple sauces, they have many, which one of these are the best on the sandwich. That's a great idea. I will say the spice level of this is actually surprising. This is true, truly. I don't, uh, have the, I don't have the spicy one. You don't, is. but I'm telling you, yeah, usually spicy stuff at restaurants, I'm like, that's not spicy. I don't Ooh. even taste anything, but this is actually pretty spicy. Like, this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. This is the best thing that's ever happened to anyone. The honey mustard at McDonald's was definitely engineered for the chicken nugget. I can feel it in that bite. No, uh, I no, I yeah, I, I <laughs> you have no steak in this. You don't need sauces at all. Andrew, give me some, dude. You can't just be like, I want to hold my microphone now. You do everything for me. <laughs> yes, I can. It sucks. That should be plenty of it. Do you remember roll call in grade school? Mm-hmm. That was I, ugh, some people when they called their names were so like, like chill out. Mm. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Ugh. No, hey, no, no. Andrew, hit me with some barbecue sauce. Mm. Wait, what do they sound like when they did the name? You know, people they just do too much sometimes. I mean, listen, I do the too much all the time. No, I, I, Andrew, what? How did you? When a teacher said Andrew Sawicki, how did you say here? Here. Oh, I did kind one of, of those quick little upbeat here. Yeah, I would do. Well, I would do one of these. Say my name like you're a teacher. Garrett Watts. Here. That's what I did. Yeah. It, do the example of the person who wasn't so chill okay. that, you're, that you're shading. Make up their name. I'll respond to it. Roger Smith. I'm here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, the kid. What's up? This is so fun. Very good. No, I'm serious. This is incredible. Oh, what if you said nom? I'm serious. I'm just kidding. <laughs> sorry, sorry, audio listeners. Sorry, everybody, for chewing. It's a sorry for the whole podcast. Oh well, my okay. sandwich is gone. Your sandwich is gone. Oh, I'll give my chicken review sandwich review. Yeah, do the chicken review. I'm gonna move the mic out of the way. I'm gonna give my final bite here. Okay. Well, eight point seven is my review. In terms of your review, are you reviewing it based on the landscape of fast food items, or are you reviewing it? on the landscape of expectation. You're overthinking how I'm reviewing it. I just spread out a number that my mind said, say this. Okay. But I will say, I'm somebody who really likes fast food. And yes. I think I would take probably this over a steakhouse dinner just because I'm that type of person. Oh, really? I would take pizza rolls over an Alaskan sea bass. Whoa. Which I don't even know if that's a fancy type of fish. Pizza, Dude, pizza rolls are like diamonds to me. And I will freaking do it. Dude, if you don't tweet that, that's lost opportunity. Garrett's review is a what? 8.7. Interesting. I'm in between two numbers. Okay. Oh, okay. Andrew. People aren't watching us for food reviews. <laughs> you have to say a number so we can let people get back to their lives. Um, it's a 7.75. Nice. Whoa. Oh, God. No, 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 I was that. in between oh. 7.7 and 7.8. Don't you dare. Oh. Ever. Don't you ever. Oh. Question the way that I review this. All right, I'm sorry. Don't you ever ask, don't you ever question the way that I review my crispy chicken sandwiches? Okay, have you lost your mind or no? Sorry, Papa. <laughs> oh, that sucks so bad. <laughs> a weird window in our friendship. <laughs> yeah. um, just, yeah. Listen, and as far as the sauce ratings, I'm sorry. I don't think we have enough time for me to really process. Andrew, that. 
I was wondering about that when you said it. I was like, he's really going in on this food review thing. They, first of all, I love I love all these types of sauces. They they, they work equally well. I would say. Oh yeah. So I would say <laughs> if you want to <laughs> eat the hot mustard, no, well maybe the hot mustard, honey mustard, sweet and sour, tangy barbecue, all very complimenting, all very different. I will say you're gonna have a hard time eating the honey mustard without thinking that this would hit better with a chicken nugget. Yeah, people are going to have a hard time with that. <laughs> uh, thank you so much to uh, to those who have uh, chosen to do this. Who, who have chosen. <laughs> no, I mean it. That's the right way to you, say We it. don't know exactly what we called this podcast, but it was something strange. No, thanks for being on this journey with us of uh, Sweet Boys, always seeing what it's going to be about, what it's going to be, what it's going to turn into, what it's not going to turn into. Who knows what the future holds. We thank you so much for being here. And uh, oh my gosh, you know what kind of song? I'm pouring on this chicken right now. Sweet and sour. Be sweet. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Sometimes sour. Oh, Andrew, is that what it says? And uh, are you gonna hit us with the outro? I just did it. Whoa. Well, I just want to say real quick before we leave that I'm I'm toying with the idea of going through an overall phase, and I did tweet it at Mac mm-hmm. Does It the other day. And mm-hmm. also, I'm thinking about getting into food dehydrating. Anyways, I'm sorry. Andrew said, "Be sweet," and I am saying, "And see you next week." Give me some of your sandwich. You've had enough. You've had enough. <laughs>